Hey everyone, Rayo here, and uh, today I just wanted to make a quick video to uh, say you all, say I hope you all had a good holiday and that you guys have a good new year coming up. Just wanted to take a second, I guess, to kind of maybe give a little insight on what I'm kind of going to get into this upcoming year. So I'm really, I'm really involved, like I've mentioned in probably all my videos up until this point, um, that I'm really involved in my guild, so I'm going to be, of course, focusing a lot on my guild. Um, the point of the guild is for training fractals. We do multiple events a week. Um, so this is Miss Lock. We train tier one through fours as well as CMs. And we have all these events and I try and make it to pretty much every single one that I can. I'm actually missing an event in there. There should be Saturday raid time. But then we also actually have an EU version of the guild that's a little bit lower on the member count and a little bit slower with getting things started. You know, I'm really trying to invest a lot of time into keeping the NA version of the guild running as well as getting the EU guild kickstarted. Um, the NA guild runs pretty well. We have a good amount of trainers, but EU, uh, we're still struggling to get some trainers here and there. But we do have a couple people that reached out and... Uh, Hopefully we'll get some stuff going in the new year. Yeah, as for content on my channel, um, my thought would be to just kind of post trainings. Um, maybe to kind of see how we do trainings in the game. Uh, let me turn that down actually, that's pretty darn loud. That way you guys can kind of see how we do trainings and uh, that's still pretty darn loud. Anyway, as I said for the third time now, probably going to do um, some training videos. I've done a couple on my channel with a couple raids and like one fractal one, but thinking maybe uh, more regularly. Like I said, I do that multiple times a week personally, so um, I'm not like a phantom or anything. It's just I am doing trainings in-game a lot of the time, so I'll probably post some of that. Uh, I'm definitely going to focus on getting my, my fractal guides done this year. Probably going to start with the CMs. Uh, because that seems to be the one thing that a lot of people are really into nowadays and that seems to be the spot that takes the most learning uh, from what I personally notice there's a delay in getting started in fractals like in tier ones and everything so it might take a little bit of startup but once you kind of get the ball rolling you typically get to tier four kind of quick there's typically just the hurdle of one finding groups two getting kind of stuck in tier two and tier three because um a good amount of people actually progress pretty fast because um, you can kind of get out of tier 2 pretty quick. You can also get out of tier 3 fairly quick when it comes to, like, if you farm money regularly. Tier 2 and tier 3, aside from experience, are really just like a gear lock. And then a personal fractal level lock. But, I mean, if you can get into a guild, hey, missed lock. If you can get into a guild where you have people that, that run fractals regularly, then your personal fractal level won't ever really be an issue. So, there just seems to be, at least in my experience, a lot of people that kind of get hung up in tier 4s and trying to take that leap into getting into CM. So, I'm probably going to start with those CM guides. I know there's been a few on YouTube. Um, but I'm probably going to post like in-depth stuff, like understanding the mechanics and how to handle the mechanics. That way it's like not just, hey, stack here, burn here. Um, not that those guides are bad at all. I mean, that's definitely how I learned for sure. Um, but it does not to be like too like rude or anything, but it does kind of show or it doesn't like show it. Um, it doesn't give you understanding of why to do the stacking or why to do this all the time. Well, sometimes there might. I honestly haven't watched a lot of stuff like Fractal Guides lately because I'm just training it myself. Um, but all that to say, I'm going to be trying to make like in-depth guides so you can understand the mechanics like why heal brand works very well nowadays. And should the meta for heal brand change? Because heal brand is very strong. Should the meta change instead of having to kind of start all over and just wait for like snow crow, not snow crows, um, discretize to make a new uh, build guide? then maybe you could like look in your own classes and figure out, oh, okay, this trade will work here, this will work there. And just basically make it so you can understand the encounters yourself. That's my goal when it comes to training, just helping you understand how things work. That way you can kind of teach yourself how to do stuff. And so far, I've really only got that way with fractals. But um, I'm trying to get that point in raids, but I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm content where I'm at right now, but I'm going to be focusing on the CM fractal guides and then just regular fractal guides to help you on just how the mechanics work, how the fractals work. And then you can kind of take it from there. If you want to get speed clear after that, cool. Um, you know kind of how things work. So you know the adjustments you have to make. Um, the other thing that I was thinking about getting into is I've actually been getting really into Guild Wars 1, like the past month and a half or so. So I'm actually considering 
making some Guild Wars 1 videos. Uh, I'm going for God Walking Amongst, amongst God's Walking Amongst Mere Mortals, uh, Guam for short. I'm going to call it Guam uh, because that's just easier to say. Uh, I think I might just like post videos on my progress for that here and there. I'm very much like a casual progression kind of guy. I, uh, I don't know. I like the grindiness of Guild Wars 1. Um, I like the vanquishes. I like doing the low-key, like... Lo I don't know. Not like low-key. I, I kind of like doing the casual stuff. If I'm to be honest, I'm pretty casual. But um, I've really been enjoying Guild Wars 1. I'm thinking about posting some videos to bring some attention to that because, honestly, that's a super great game. A super great game. And I actually just watched a video by Nike. He actually posted this a year ago, but I just it just popped up on my feed uh, like yesterday, and I watched it. He was kind of describing the difference in, like, skill level between, um, like... Like what I think I think the video is called like what Guild Wars One does right. Um, it was actually a really good video. I really actually I really enjoy Nike videos. Um, I like his I like how he's just honest with his opinion and he's very kind of like direct with what he says. Um, I'll probably if I remember I'll throw that video link in the description so you can give it a watch too. But basically, he kind of describes how um, Guild Wars One has. Stuff that you can kind of just, like, pick up and go. Where, like, Guild Wars 2 has a lot of endgame content, but it's, like, daily gated. Like, once you've done your daily fractals, then you've gotten all the rewards from that you can. But if you were to do daily dungeons in Guild Wars 1, not daily, I said daily, but if you were to do dungeons in Guild Wars 1, there's no, there's not really diminishing returns. So you can just run it, get four rewards, run it right at, like if you enjoy the dungeon, you can run it three times back to back, and then you can get four rewards every single time. Where if you do Ascalonian Catacombs here, you run it once for four rewards, and then you get like drastically cut in rewards each consecutive run that you do. So it's, it's more of like a... I think it's, like, less daily gated. Like, it has, like, a couple daily things, but it's, you know, it, I don't know. It's, like, Guild Wars has a lot, Guild Wars 2 has a lot of daily stuff, which is fun. I, I like the dailies. But I also kind of feel like I get, like, sometimes pigeonholed, not pigeonholed, but I kind of feel like in order to play effectively, in which, like, I always want to try and play as effectively as I can, but... I also feel like if I have to do something in order to play effectively, like if I have to keep up with my dailies, I have to do daily fractals, I have to do weekly clears, I have to do all this other stuff, then I almost feel like I'm playing just to do the repeatable stuff or just to keep up with everyone else and keep up with the rest of the community. Where Guild Wars 1, it does have like a couple daily things, but... If I choose one day that I just want to farm the crap out of Citadel of Flame, then I'm not, like, missing out on anything. I'm not losing out on anything. If I want to go to max out my titles, I'm not, like, losing out on anything. Now, granted, Guild Wars 2, really, like, no matter what you do, you're going to be keeping up with the rest of the community. Like, if you farm in Silver Waste or if you farm in Dragonfall, I mean, you're, the gold per hour that you're getting is still good. It's not the same. Like, one's probably better than the other, but... I mean, it's still kind of the same, but then again, if like I wanted to farm one thing over and over and over, I would I would be yeah, I would get hit by diminishing returns at one point. And I'm very much a grindy kind of player. Like I I like doing the same thing over and over. And like like fractals you can kind of play over and over, but your big bulk of the rewards are in the dailies. So once you do your fractals a second time, the rewards from them get cut drastically because you're losing out on those daily chests. So that's, I don't know, that's kind of like one thing that I really do like about Guild Wars 1. And I also like, actually another thing that I really love about it is that it's actually helping me understand a lot about Guild Wars 2 when it comes to the characters. Like, all these, like, ascended pieces, I actually have no gear on my char, actually. So, that's uh, awkward, you just saw my char naked, but, um, like, Zatuka. The Zatuka set that you can get from, what's it called? Uh, Path of Fire. That is a character in Guild Wars 1. And just playing Guild Wars 2, never understood who he was. Never understood anything about the guy. But now that I am like playing Guild Wars 1, 
I'm starting to, I don't know, kind of get insight into other characters, like where they came from, their story, like there's the Ascended Berserker trinket, Althea's Ashes. There's actually a mission where you have to deliver Althea's Ashes back to uh, Duke, Duke Baradin, I believe, if I read the wiki correctly. And Duke Baradin is a huge part of um, Ascalonian ghosts that deal with that are in, like, the, the Charlands, Ascalon, and it gives, like, Ascalon's a huge, I mean, Ascalon's huge in Guild Wars 2, but it's also, like, super huge, probably more, like, more of a big deal in Guild Wars 1. I think I'm mixing up Guild Wars 1 and Guild Wars 2. It's not as big, a, like, it's not, it doesn't have as big of a focus in Guild Wars 2 as it does in Guild Wars 1, is what I'm trying to say. Um, trying to do a JP and talk at the same time is difficult, but, um... Yeah, I don't know. Basically, I've just been enjoying a lot out of Guild Wars 1, and I definitely recommend that y'all, if you were on the fence about giving it a shot, definitely recommend y'all giving it a shot. It's super fun. If you like story and like lore and all that stuff, and you started on Guild Wars 2, Guild Wars 1 does story super well. I actually like the story missions a lot in Guild Wars 1. They're good in Guild Wars 2 for sure, but I think... If I'm to be honest, maybe I'm just biased right now because I'm like <laughs> head over heels for Guild Wars 1 if you want to call it that. But like, I think I like it a little bit more in Guild Wars 1. I like it. It's, I don't know. Guild Wars 1 is like a different game with all the same lore. So now that I'm done fangirling <laughs> over Guild Wars 1, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give a, um, kind of give an insight onto like what's going through my head and what's, what I'm thinking about for my channel and probably going to like, try and figure out a streaming schedule i know said, uh, i'm gonna try i'm gonna try i've said these things thousands of times i know but i am gonna try and figure out a streaming schedule whether it's just trainings for the guild or like just progress for guam titles or just hanging out i don't know um my schedule is very all over the place and very random so we'll see what works best uh, but I'll try and get something regular here going. It's going to be a goal this year. But, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give a uh, quick update. I know this is kind of rambly, but didn't really have a plan when I hit record. So it's kind of just a one-take Drake. So I hope that uh, you guys had a great holiday season. You guys had a great... Um, you guys are going to have a great New Year. I hope New Year's Eve is awesome. And I hope the best for you in 2020. Take care, guys.